Hello everyone, today is going to be how to make a cat snuggle mat. Let's go. This is not only for cats, you can make this for dogs, guinea pigs, or rabbits too. This is what you're going to need to do if you want to make this for those pets. No loose threads, use polar fleece, non-pill fleece, cotton, flannel, make sure they do not like to chew slash ingest fabric, and make it strongly plus neatly sewed. Do not use for pets like mice, rats, hamsters, sugar gliders, hedgehogs, chinchillas, gerbils, plus all other. And with all that said, let's get started. What you will need. Two pieces of fabric of your choice. Replace outer fabric with polar fleece if making for guinea pigs and rabbits. They sell many different fabrics at the fabric store many different polar fleeces. There's many different pretty colors to choose from. They sell also these quilted things for dogs plus cats. Since I am making this for my cat, I am using flannel. But you can use this quilted stuff if you are 100% sure that your rabbit or guinea pig will not chew it. You're gonna need some half inch batting, the same size as the fabric, thread that matches the color of your fabrics, pins plus sewing needles, a measuring tape, fabric scissors, and lastly, a sewing machine. This is the size of mine, adjust it for your pet. When laying your fabrics to pin and sew, the fabric that you want to show on the top is going to face upwards towards you, and the fabric that you want on the bottom is going to face towards the other one, upside down. So pretty size together. Then add your half inch batting on top of that. Then make sure that everything is flat and perfectly lined up. Then place pins about one inch away from the edge of your fabric all the way around. Once you're done pinning, you're gonna make a hole about one third of the size of your edge. This is to flip it inside out. And this is to show where you exactly sew. Before you sew, make sure that your stitch looks like this. Set your stitches anywhere from two to two and a half millimeters. And make sure that everything is lined up and you're sewing all three layers together. Now begin to sew all the way around, excluding the hole that you left. After you are done, it should look like this. Then flip it inside out. Make sure that you can see both patterns. Now you should have a hole with your batting inside. Now you're going to ladder stitch that hole shut. If you have a little lump, you can ladder stitch again. I'm going to show you guys how to ladder stitch in a couple of seconds. Okay, so to ladder stitch, look at where the string came out of. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your needle in parallel to where the string came out of. You're gonna go through about a centimeter and come out after that. Then pull your string through nice and tight, and then repeat on the other side. Keep on doing this until you've reached the end, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to close it. Okay, so to close it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your needle through the middle, and then grab a little tiny bit of fabric from the side. After you've done that, stop just before the needle is about to go through the fabric. Then make it face up, straighten out your threads, and the thread that is closest to your needle, you're gonna take that thread and you're gonna wrap it around your needle twice. Take it to the base of your needle and hold it close to the fabric, and then pull right through. If you have this weird little thing, just go behind through one of the loops. After you've done that, grab a tiny bit of fabric and then do the exact same thing as you did before. Being sure to hold the thread close to the fabric with your fingers. 
After this, do multiple layers of the ladder stitch for extra durability. Once you're done, you'll have a nice sturdy knot that you can now cut. And you're done with sewing your ladder stitch on that edge. Now you're going to measure one of your sides. Then you're going to divide that by four or five. As you can see, mine is right here. Place pins all around so that you have a rectangle inside of your already made bed rectangle. But if I were to do it this way, it would look a little bit strange, so I moved mine up to the stitch that was already there. Now you're going to sew all the way around. Go to the back of your bed and there should be two strings. Pull one of those strings and a tiny little thread from the other side should appear. Take your needle, slide underneath that little thread, and then pull it out. Then tie three knots and cut it close. I didn't show it, but do the other one as well. Before you give this to your pet, make sure that all of the pins are taken out. Now we are officially done with the snuggle mat. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!